This weekend's aeronauts from across the globe are flocking to northern Indiana to talk about, celebrate, and fly gyroplanes. Indiana News Desk's Tyler Lake checks out the annual convention of flying enthusiasts. Mintone, Indiana is a small town of around a thousand people, and most of the time it's pretty quiet. But not this weekend. They go by many names, autogyro, gyrocopter, gyroplane, rotoplane, and probably a few more. And every year, enthusiasts meet up at the Mintone Airport, where the popular Rotorcraft Association's headquarters are located, for a weekend in the skies. Many of these crafts are home-built, but this one isn't. It was built in Germany, and it and its owner have been busy setting a few world records. Well, my name is Norman Surplus, uh, and I am the first person to fly uh, a gyroplane or an autogyro type of aircraft around the world. It took him several years to get the job done, mostly because of some diplomatic troubles. The aircraft got stuck in Japan for three years uh, because I couldn't get the permission from Russia at that time to get across uh, Russia to get to Alaska. But early this spring, he got the permission he'd needed, and by June, he'd flown his way into the record books. And when he completed his trip, his craft got this sticker putting his little gyroplane in rare company. It's a very proud moment to be able to put the first one on a gyro uh, here at Mentone. It's the nation's largest gyroplane fly-in event, and organizers describe it as a mecca for rotorcrafts. The popular Rotorcraft Association has been around since 1962, and they used to hold their gatherings across the country, but that changed in the early 90s. This airport came up for sale in 93, and we was looking for a permanent home so we purchased the airport in 93, then had the first convention here in 1994. And now it's the PRA headquarters, where members have been coming to fly and talk gyros ever since. But talking doesn't really do a gyroplane justice, so they took me up in one to find out what it's like. And I can report, it's a blast. While we were gliding over the city of Mintone, my pilot gave me the rundown on how gyros work. She told me they may look like little helicopters, but they don't work like them at all. They have a small pusher propeller at the back, and as the craft moves forward, air turns the freewheeling rotor blades at the top, and when they get going fast enough, the gyro lifts off the runway. And suddenly you're airborne, drifting over the Mintone airport, where PRA members are filing in to get their shot down the runway. And that's where they'll be this weekend, giving out demo rides, offering flight instructions, and competing in flying contests. But mostly they'll be in the air above Mentone, zipping around with big, goofy grins like this. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Kyler Lake.